If looking at roaches creeps you out, get ready. Brace yourself here because there are so many in tonight's dirty dining. Health inspectors call the infestation excessive. And as Chief Investigator Darcy Spears reports, it's at a place you'd probably take your kids. The anticipation of a sweet treat stands in stark contrast to these images captured by health inspectors at Scoops on September 17th. Yeah, we're here because you guys are on dirty dining this week for when the health district shut you down for a cockroach infestation. And we just need to speak to the person in charge and get your side of that story. She tells us she needs to call her boss. She, she's here to do a segment for dirty dining and she needs to speak to you. The health district visited this thrifty ice cream parlor on Boulder Highway in Nellis after a customer complained about several roaches crawling around. Inspectors found way more than several. A colony of German roaches that bombarded the whole building. Are you saying it was more than just this store? Scoops had just gotten a zero demerit A grade a month earlier on August 17th. The owner blamed the infestation on a neighbor's construction. The restaurant next door had a, a kitchen remodel. Okay. But here at Scoops, inspectors found multi generational roaches under the ice cream freezers, crawling on the walls, inside cabinets, and under the counter ledge near the cash register. There were cockroach droppings on walls and excessive dead roaches on floors throughout the facility, which the owner says shows their pest control was working. <laughs> as long as they were dead, it was better than alive. She said they'd had pest control service three days earlier, but had to do more to deal with the type of roaches inspectors found. There's a special chemical that German roaches are susceptible to. Hmm. In addition to pest control, Scoops had a lot of cleaning to do. Sides of freezers, walls, and cabinet interiors were dirty with dried ice cream residue, and base coving was in severe disrepair, providing a nesting spot for the roaches. 48 solid hours of work to make sure that you got every little hole. Scoops was back to a zero demerit A on September 20th. We had two other imminent health hazard closures on September 18th. Both were shut down for operating without potable water and both are on Maryland Parkway near Twain. One was Little Caesars Pizza, which reopened the next day with a zero demerit A. The manager there said they had no comment about the closure. The other place was dirty dining repeat offender Sol Tapatillo, where inspectors also saw a food handler using bare hands to put cheese on ready to eat burritos and raw beef thawing at room temperature. Sol Tapatillo also reopened the next day with a zero demerit A. We left a message there, but our call for comment was not returned. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.